diverse habitats and forms of Taiwan's aquatic plants turn barren lands into thriving environments. Aquatic plants are a very unique group within the plant kingdom. They are known as water weeds, live in water environments, and can be seen in any wet place. Because of the humid weather and abundant precipitation, over 300 aquatic species exist in Taiwan. In nature, aquatic plants play a very important role, providing feeding and resting grounds for insects and waterfowl, and offering shelter to many aquatic organisms. This ensures that water bodies thrive with biodiversity. Many aquatic plants are consumed as common table vegetables, among them aquatic morning glory. Its hollow stem allows it to float on the water's surface. Its wild population has purple stems and flowers. Wild rice is another kind of vegetable aquatic species occurring in paddy fields. Rice is the aquatic plant most closely connected to our daily lives. Rice's mature caryopsis is a staple food of Asian peoples. Aquatic plants also perform the function of filtering polluted water. In Tainan's Arhang community, reeds, water hyacinths, cattails, and water lettuce are planted to filter household sewage after which the filtrate is used for irrigation. Water resources are thus recycled to improve the community environment. Aquatic plants are classified into five major groups according to habitat and morphological character. Emergent plants with their roots in the water usually grow in shallows close to the shoreline. One such emergent plant, rough seed bulrush, is always seen standing gregariously in the water. Each of the adventitious buds growing on the inflorescence will become a mature plant after falling off. Floating-leaved plants with long petioles grow in the center of ponds. The prominent characteristic of this group is the leaf blade floating on the water's surface. With its white flowers and floating leaves, small floating heart, found on Nanren Lake, is a typical floating-leaved plant. Floating plants drift with the current. Their roots are not attached to any soil, and the entire plant body floats on the water's surface. Minute duckweed, thin duckweed, many rooted duckweed, and rootless duckweed are all floating plants. Submerged plants grow under the water's surface. celery and cosmopolitan dense waterweed are both submergents. Ivy duckweed is the only submergent among floating families in Lemnese. The last group of aquatic plants is plants that grow on the banks of streams or in shallow wetlands. The native Taiwan hygrophia is one representative of this group. Other members include water candle, coastal water hyssop, duck tongue grass, and shuisha willow. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
Aquatic plants have gradually evolved many strategies to adapt to water environments. Leaves of some species inflate into airbags. In the ponds of Elan's mountain areas, wild floating rice grows abundantly. Its leaf sheath inflates robustly to form floats, in which it can store air to increase buoyancy. The petioles of the water hyacinth enlarge to help the plants float on water. In addition, the underside of the leaf blade of the frog bit has structures resembling floats. One function of plant roots is to stabilize the plant body. The roots of aquatic plants, however, are not as important as those of terrestrial plants. The smallest flowering plant in the world, rootless duckweed, indeed has no roots. Aquatic plants with roots have evolved various ways to adapt to their environment. The red mangrove depends on its arching stilt roots to adjust to the tide. And the upright pencil-like roots of the white mangrove expose themselves above ground to supplement the supply of oxygen to roots underground are an important place for aquatic plants to live and reproduce. For example, the yellow flowers of the Taiwan water lily, which bloom luxuriantly above the water's surface, make this species conspicuous in ponds. Some specialized plants inhabit the small highland lakes of Taiwan. Water shield, for example, hibernates in winter and multiplies rapidly in spring, spreading over the entire lake surface. Lake wetlands are also home to many rare aquatic plants. These include Ambulia, found in Shuanglian Bay, Ilan, Taiwan Quillwort, found in Menghuan Pond, and Rotala, found in Nanren Lake. Aquatic plants can also live in highly saline conditions. Among them, Candelia, White Mangrove, Lumnitsera, and Mangrove are distributed in coastal and estuarine areas. shallow areas on the sandy beaches of central Taiwan, you can find eelgrass, while in the intertidal coral reef areas around Kanding, you can find Thalassia seagrass. Although eelgrass and Thalassia seagrass look like algae, they are actually flowering plants. Although there are more than 300 species of aquatic plants in Taiwan, over 100 of these species have become endangered, due mainly to human-induced pollution and destruction. Cement in ditches, industrial wastewater, herbicides and insecticides have caused the decline of wild celery. Taiwan water hawthorn and Yurikama. Exotic aquatic animals, such as the apple snail, and tilapia, and plants including water hyacinth, water spangles, water lettuce, and wing stem aster, are all threatening Taiwan's native aquatic plants, which have gradually lost their living space. Some native aquatic plants are easily confused with exotic plants. Water 
Spanish Spangles are confused with native Salvinia. And the Santa Cruz water lily with native Gorgon plant. The endangered native Salvinia and Gorgon plant are now rarely seen in the wild. When ponds and rice paddies disappear, aquatic plant habitats likewise vanish. As more and more buildings take the place of pond and paddy, there is increasing concern for the fate of aquatic plants. Gorgon plant, Taiwan water lily, and water plant in Atelia have all come to face extinction. In recent years, the Taiwan Endemic Species Research Institute has been actively investigating, collecting, and cultivating aquatic plants for the purpose of conserving natural populations. Results of this process have been shared with school campuses and communities. In addition, the institute has constructed its ecology park to include a pond where numerous rare aquatic plants are grown. Aquatic plants can be used as teaching materials in primary schools. They can also be used as decoration, both beautifying the environment and creating a pleasant atmosphere. Aquatic plants also reduce reflection from the water surface and add to the water scenery. Thus there are numerous ways the conservation of aquatic plants can benefit the natural environment. In order to achieve conservation, the first requirement is to know aquatic plants. The following are some common species. Alligator alternanthera has hollow stems, opposite paired leaves, and white flower heads. Lantern seed box is commonly known as water banana. It is a commonly found weed in rice paddies with prominent four-petaled yellow flowers. Its fruit resembles a small banana with hundreds of seeds inside. Small lantern seed box is smaller in size with slender leaves and much smaller flowers and fruit than lantern seed box. It grows abundantly in shallow water, and the stem is surrounded by fine, silver-white, thread-like rootlets for exchanging gases. Arrowhead is also called triangle cut, due to its triangular leaves. The male flower is located above the female flower on the inflorescence. This is one of the common weeds found in the rice paddies of Taiwan. The leaves of the one-leaf galangale grow at the base of its triangular stem. It has compound inflorescence, usually grows gregariously in coastal areas, and is used for making mats. Crenate marsilia is a water fern. Young leaves curl like a question mark, then open like the Chinese character tian, and close at night. Stems protrude out of the water when the habitat dries out, while its leaves float on the surface when water is sufficient. Orientalis cattail is used in flower arrangement. The female flowers are located in the lower part of the inflorescence, directly beneath the male flowers. Narrow-leaved cattail can be distinguished by the space between the male and female flowers on the inflorescence. Some rare aquatic plants include leather fern. This plant is mainly distributed in the wetlands of volcanic areas or coastal mountains. It is a highly appreciated water fern. Taiwan quillwort grows in Menghuan Pond in Yangmingshan National Park. Spores grow at the base of leaves and mature during the dry season.
Taiwan hygrophila is distributed in central coastal areas. The population has rapidly declined due to development. It is already an endangered species, with less than 1,000 plants existent in the wild. The population has slowly increased thanks to the conservation efforts of the Taiwan Endemic Species Research Institute, as well as by local governments and communities. Taiwan water lily is endemic to Taiwan. It blooms all year round and is a valued plant for cultivation. It is now endangered, owing to the reduction of its habitats. Pseudoalisma is a member of the Alismataceae family, now rarely found in the wild. It has ball-like fruit, heart-shaped leaves, and white flowers. The leaves of water plant in Otelia are submerged in water. Flowers are pale purple to pink. Fruit has five to six longitudinal ribs with a multitude of seeds inside. Gorgon plant is densely distributed with thorns, except for its petals, roots, and seeds. Flowers run pink to purple. Its fruit is rich in starch at maturity. A red spotted membrane outside the seed allows it to float easily. Small leaved Barringtonia flowers at night. It is closely related to Indian Barringtonia. The former, however, has a longer spike and smaller fruit than the latter. Owing to fibers on the coat, the fruit of both plants can float on water. Common philidrum is an emergent plant. It has a long flower spike with yellow flowers alternating on either side. Its stem is flat with slender leaves. Water hawthorn is an endemic species in Taiwan. Only found in rice paddies in Qingshui, Taichung, this plant was saved because the farmers did not apply herbicide. It has a ball-like tuber and is commonly called water taro. Water chestnut is a rare floating-leaved plant. Its fruit has four horns, blooms with pink flowers in summer, and is only found in lakes in the northeast of Taiwan. In recent years, ecological engineering has been implemented to produce porous and multi-layered ecological environments, creating habitable ponds. We have recommended that local residents raise native fish species, such as mako fish and paradise fish. We have also called for the removal of apple snail eggs in order to reduce environmental damage. The removal of the apple snail is a very important step in protecting aquatic plants. Although aquatic plants face many crises, with an indomitable will to survive, these tiny water weeds continue to live in the fast-changing world of water. These plants are an invaluable gift of nature, crucial to ecological systems. We hope that in every wet place, aquatic plants will continue to thrive.